So Skype's been home for a few weeks now, so I thought I'd do a little update video just to let you know what's been going on, how Scout and Magnus have been getting along together, and what it's like being having two dogs in the same house at the same time. So quite a departure for us. We're used to having one dog for a long time. So as far as walking, it's been a bit of a challenge walking Scout at first, and she liked to pull in the lead really hard, and Magnus has got a tendency to sort of walk by her side on a slack lead. So there's lots of tangled leads at first, lots of changing direction rapidly, and lots of getting tripped up at first, but they are doing a better job of walking along side by side and basically staying on route and not deviating. So that's been really good. They've also been getting on well on the walks, enjoying all the sights, smells and sounds, haven't you guys? So as far as House Scout and Magnus have been getting along in the house, we basically bought some extra beds for the house since we have two dogs instead of one. So we've got two beds for our living room, one large one, one small one. But Magnus and Scout actually take turns sleeping in either bed. So we thought we had the small bed for Scout, the large one for Magnus, but they actually basically use both beds back and forward. We thought there'd be lots of fun adventures together, them hanging out all the time. They will answer the door together, which is really nice to see. And they will basically loiter in the kitchen if they think there's food nearby or on the go. But generally, Max and Scout are being sort of doing their own little thing in the house. They will occasionally, like I said, come together and lie in the same room. But we thought it'd be a lot more sort of interaction, more playing. But again, that might come as time as they get more and more confident and more comfortable with one another in the house. But generally now you'll see one person will be in one room, maybe a Scout lying in the living room doing a bed fail. And then Magnus will be perhaps on the top floor doing something else entirely. Not sure why his head's under the bed, but there you go. That's Magnus getting some privacy, doing his own thing under the bed. So they've kind of been doing their own thing. They will occasionally lie on the floor side by side, and they will perhaps hang out in the kitchen together. But generally, they're doing their own things in their own little beds, having their own little space. So that's fine. Again, as they get more comfortable, hopefully they'll get more and more interactions. As far as meals go, we've been feeding Magnus first, just so basically he doesn't feel like he's getting left out or getting taken over by this new dog. So Scout tends to wait outside and isn't too happy about not getting served food at the same time. So you will hear her whining. She's a lot more vocal as far as making noises compared to Magnus, who's quite stoic and pretty quiet. So she'll basically Charlotte. whine outside until it's her time to get come her on. food. Come here. Come. Come. Good girl. Good girl. And eventually she'll get inside and then basically Magnus will basically come outside one in, and will feed out. Scout that way. So Magnus basically still knows that he's the top dog and it's his house and that Scout's not coming to take over. Just like Magnus, Scout is very, very, very interested in food. Always loves to eat. Would happily eat her first, seconds, thirds, fourth, fifth and sixth. As many servings as she possibly could get. So we've been doing a lot of training using food as a treat for that as she's very, very interested and food but whenever there's anything in the kitchen she always charges in trying to see if there's anything for her. Wait. When we first brought Magnus home Wait. he'd get super excited when we get meal times we'd have to actually shut him out of the kitchen because he'd be jumping that high. Scout's excited but basically a little bit more manageable to basically keep her under control until the food's ready and then she's ready to dive in and get her food. So she's got some yogurt here and some uh, natural instincts chicken for her dinner tonight. So while Scout is chomping down on our dinner, Magnus will be waiting outside the kitchen to see if there's any more food coming his way. So just to be nice and patient, he'll sit down of his own accord, just waiting for the Scout to finish her meal so he can go up and clean up any leftovers that she's left behind. So you're all ready, Magnus. Just got to wait for that clanging to stop and then you'll know that Scout has finished her meal. Got to let the ball spin, spin Scout. Even if Scout has been fed, she'll still be in the kitchen if there's any food on the go. Here you can see something in the microwave. Oh, is that for me, Scout? Nope, it's not for you. So 
Is that the Goose Scout? What's that there? Is that for you? Okay, that is for you, but just not at this moment in time, so you'll have to wait for another scout, okay? No, not for you. Sorry. Other times they'll both be in here when there's something cooking in the oven. Like perhaps a big roast chicken. Getting prime viewing spots, watching the action, aren't you guys? Yep, what's on TV tonight? Yep, it's a roast dinner. So there's lots of drill on the floor, as you can possibly imagine. As far as getting ready for walks, Scout is always first at the door and always very keen to go out for the walks, no matter the weather. So she gets ready very fast, so much so that she'll have time to lie down while Magnus is getting ready. Because sometimes Magnus be, needs to per, be persuaded, especially if it's really snowy, cold or wet outside, where Scout seems to be up for a walk, no matter the weather. Although right now she's lying down because we're taking too long getting Magnus ready. Because we've got two dogs now, we've got a separate space in the car for a Scout in the back seat. We've got a little harness area here for a little seat belt, so he's all nice and comfy there. And then it's time for walks. One thing our new home has lots of is stairs and Scout just didn't do stairs when she first came home. So she should stay downstairs and whine whenever we went upstairs. So we thought it was important for her to be able to comfortably navigate the whole house the way Magnus can. So we had to work on her going up and down the stairs safely. At first she had no interest and was too scared to go up the stairs. But my wife did an excellent job trying to basically praise, encourage her and train her to go up and down the stairs. We did this by basically using some treats, using Magnus as a guide and also going to our neighbourhood where some outdoor steps about two or three high so we tried there until she was comfortable but my wife worked on this for a few weeks to get scout to be comfortable yeah. going up and down the stairs hello good boy good girl good girl good girl well done good. yeah, yeah. So after all the training on the stairs, Scout can safely now navigate the whole house and can go up and down the stairs as often as she likes. Her most favourite place to be is at the foot of the bed, lying on a nice expensive rug, and that's where she sleeps a lot of the time, day and night. 
So that's basically what Scout's been up to for the last few weeks, just settling in, getting to know the place, learning some of the routines and getting to live with Magnus. Uh, so there'll be more updates on Scout and Magnus and how they're getting along together in the next few weeks. So thanks for watching. Thank you.